Well, we want to thank Glowhost for sponsoring these videos. And in this video, I want to show you how to set up your Drupal site at a web host, specifically here, Glowhost. This video assumes that you've logged into your account control panel. Go ahead and click on My Hosting. These are the packages that have been assigned to your account. We're going to be working on this fictitious site called Zap Machines today. Click Account Information and then click on Control Panel Login. One of the great things about Glowhost is they give you just about everything you need with just the click of a few buttons. We're going to scroll down here to Softaculous. Softaculous is a great way of installing just all kinds of software. We're going to click on the CMS portals and scroll down and find Drupal 8. Make sure that you get the right version of Drupal. It's just a little bit down here. Now you're not going to believe how easy this is. Go ahead and click on the Drupal 8 logo. Confirm the version that you want to set up. We'll leave it at HTTP, but if you have an SSL certificate, feel free to change that. And we'll remove the Drupal 8 directory so it can be at the root of our zapmachines.com URL. And another nice thing from Glowhost is they set up a cron job for you. You don't have to worry about it. Let's change the name of our site to Drupalville. They provide an admin username and password that are both very secure and suggest the email for the admin as well. When you're installing this, you'll want to make note of it or, of course, you can send yourself the installation details. Well, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and click Install. This won't take long at all. Glowhost does all of the hard work for us and in just a few moments, this will be ready to go. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Well, that didn't take long at all. All we need to do now is go to our website. I'm going to click on the link that they provide and here we are at our Drupalville login for our site. And congratulations, in just a few short moments, you've installed Drupal at a web host. And that's all there is to it. You're ready to go.